All right, guys, we are down at the range today to do a versus video of an RTS Tactical Ceramic Level 4 plate with one of their competitors' plates that cost about $80 to $100 more. Now, this was RTS Tactical's idea, and I really like putting high value and budget items, and in this case, just high value, good quality items, up against more expensive competitors to see where everything stands. Now, RTS Tactical sent both of these out for us to try, and I am a huge fan of RTS Tactical plates in general. They've always stopped a ton of things. They're reasonably lightweight for what they are, and they come in at an affordable price of about $129 shipped and you'll be able to find that link and all of the information for RTS Tactical in the description below. But I have no idea how this test is going to go, so I'm really excited to do a versus video. Now, this is both, I've got some notes here. Both of these are level four NIJ certified plates, so they are going to stop up to a 308. They're gonna stop that fast 556. Now this one comes in at about $129, the RTS Tactical Ceramic Plate, and the other corresponding plate comes in at about $210 to $220. So again, about $80 to $90 more for this plate. RTS Tactical comes in at 6.3 pounds, and the competitor's plate comes in at about 7.9 pounds. So you're really getting a dramatic weight savings on the RTS Tactical Plate, and that means a lot, especially when you're lugging them around all day. Now, one thing, though, that the competitor's plate has over the RTS Tactical is the width. The RTS Tactical is a little bit thicker, and the RTS Tactical has a single curve in it, meaning it just bends and contours to your body. It's very comfortable. I like the way it feels. I have no problems with it. But their competitor's plate is a little bit thinner, and it's a multi-curve plate, meaning it curves this way and this way, and it does fit your body just a little bit more comfortably. Uh, in my opinion, though, not enough to warrant a difference, and the weight itself is, is a big consideration. So right off the bat, guys, I do like the RTS Tactical Plate a little bit better when it comes to weight, although their competitor's plate does have a nice multi-curve to it. Enough talking about that. Let's mount these up and systematically shoot them exactly the same distance, exactly the same rounds through the same course of fire and see what they can actually stop in a real world scenario set up at about 20 yards. Let's see how they do. First shot, 7.62 by 51 NATO rounds out of this long barrel Vepper, an AK-47 chambered in 308, dead center shots. I want to hit it hard right off the bat. So that just lost all appearances of a professional video right there. I actually just swapped out this top cover on this Vepper and it looks like it doesn't take the standard AK. So I bent it up with a pair of pliers to get it to fit on there a little bit better. It'll probably fly off again, but this is the only 308 rifle we have. So we're gonna shoot in the exact same spot. I noticed too, it was hitting at the bottom right corner. I'm just gonna hit the other plate in the same spot. Here we go. Looks like we fixed the cover. Let's go check it out. So here we go, guys, the moment of truth. And this one stopped it. It definitely busted up the ceramic. It split the bottom right here, but nothing came through. So that is good to go. It stopped what it said it would stop. A really powerful round. This one looks like a slightly larger hole, lost a little bit more ceramic and a big bulge, but it did not split the bottom out. So that is pretty good. Now we're gonna continue to shoot five five six at these and see the multi-strike capabilities out of that fast five five six nato cartridge here we go so now we're going to be shooting out of a 16 inch insurgent tactical rifle the xm 193 round the five five six nato cartridge with a muzzle velocity of 3165 feet per second now i believe we may be losing a little bit of that velocity out of this 16 inch barrel and i do have a chronograph but it won't hook up to the end of this barrel uh, we may do some more testing with rts tactical plates in the future with velocity ratings but right now again this versus versus this is some nasty ammunition that punches through armor let's see how these plates do two shots on each plate Thank you. 
so you guys can see both similar hit patterns and I'm trying to mimic the hit patterns on these plates exactly the same so there are no variances. And what we have here with this plate is a little bit of bulging, some loss of ceramic, but overall a good job. What we have on this plate, same thing, a little bit of bulging, loss of ceramic, but overall a good job. Let's keep shooting these things. Three shots again on each of the plates, same ammunition. All right, guys, here are three hits. This one hit right about here, and this one hit right about here. So almost the same exact spot. I will keep that into consideration, but we do have no pass-through, so it stopped it 100%. Now we're looking at this plate, and again, we hit really close to the edge, but absolutely no pass-through. At this point, both of these plates have gone above and beyond their rating, so I am really impressed. I will try to pepper the left sides of them a little bit more to see what they can stop. And then after that, I'm going to put one in the same vicinity of the damage and see if they finally puncture through after a second hit. Let's go try it out. And now for the one that should punch through. So we hit really low on this one, nothing went through. We hit over here, nothing went through, but we did hit right here, again in the same hole where I was aiming at, and we do have some breakthrough, um, and it looks like we do have a 100% pass through of the round. So if you get a direct hit in the exact same spot without ceramic, it will pass through. That is to be expected, but we did finally get a pass through on this plate. With this plate, we hit here and here. We have stoppages here, and it looks like it finally, actually we probably hit up here and we did have a breakthrough here and a breakthrough here. So both of these are pass-throughs. So it seems like when you hit in the same spot on either of these plates, you're going to get a pass-through once you do a second strike on the same spot. Other than that, both plates held up really well. I feel like there is a little bit more ceramic left in the competitor's plate rather than the RTS tactical plate with that fast flying ammunition. But in summary, guys, so this really stopped a lot of rounds on both of them. And this gives you direct, direct ballistic comparisons. Again, this plate's a little bit lighter, but a little bit thicker. This plate is a little bit thinner, but definitely heavier. This one's about $80 to $90 more than the RTS Tactical, and it seems like you almost get the exact same ballistic performance. Again, neither of these hit in the same spot, so it stopped, but when it hit in the same spot, it went through. Same for this plate. I just happened to hit in the exact same spot twice on this plate rather than this one. So I would say they have almost identical ballistic performance. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you some more information about the RTS tactical plates as a direct versus video with their competitors. And again, save yourself some pounds and some money on this because if you're getting two, you're gonna save yourself about $180 if you go the RTS tactical route. But again, let this test speak for itself. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.